Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like there may be a conflict or some sort of tension right now with a person that you're connecting to romantically. It feels like there could be um, a relationship here that is making you look at the future a little bit differently. Some of you are also taking into account your personal finances and how that is um, a factor into whether or not you're going to make some sort of movement in the future. I feel like you're really in your planning mode, um, wanting to put all the pieces together before really deciding to take off in a specific direction. Part of you are wanting to do this with a person or wanting someone's support along the way, but it does feel with this Five of Wands that there could be some differences in opinion or perspective as to how to do this. And it's kind of making you feel like, okay, you know, can I count on you or can I not? Um, I feel like you're being almost like, it feels like you're on a string, you know, and it's a very thin string. And, um, you know, sometimes you're like, I'll just jump off and do it on my own. Sometimes you stay on that string. But because it's so thin, it feels very unstable. If you're, it feels um, kind of uneasy and uncomfortable to be on, right? So it doesn't feel like something that you can fully rely on at this time. And that may be um, putting you in this position to really think about whether or not this is someone um, that you still want to have in your plan. Um, but it could also be about simply choosing to change your plan because of your current circumstances. So we have Two of Wands, Page of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. So you could be connecting to an Earth sign, Taurus, for go capricorn it does feel though that the focus here is on your personal finances or at least your stability um it feels like you're really paying attention to um the things that you can rely on in order for you to say okay well at least i've got that i feel like two of wands you're focusing on the good things you're focusing on your strengths you're focusing on um the positives here even though there is something kind of frustrating happening in the background page of cups tells me that there could also be some sort of energy here of you dealing with someone or something that is kind of uh premature or juvenile it could be that you're connecting to someone or being um you know in this cycle of certain behaviors in a relationship that you're just kind of like, I don't really know where this is coming from. I just know that I don't have patience for it, right? Like something here is kind of testing your patience and you're starting to wonder, maybe I have to change my plan with this person because they're not really, um, you know, there's just a difference in perspective. Like just with this Queen of Pentacles and this Page of Cups, these are two very completely different energies. If we want to see these as potential people in a, um, situation right this could be a young male right and then this is a wiser older woman um, and so both of them have very different um, ideas of what they want for their life right they're at completely different life stages and so they will see their future very differently and that could be what's causing that tension and so I feel like maybe this is a situation that you're in where you're having to kind of make some sort of plan with somebody here but you're both just on a different level of you know your priorities your perspective what you want out of life right so um let's see let's clarify the two of wands all right ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it does feel though that there is an opportunity for um, some sort of change in the future it could be that you are also in the middle of two decisions right or two different uh, outcomes or scenarios you could be in the middle of a situation where you're being called to either go towards this opportunity or stay and um, maybe um, stick around for someone or something it feels like you're um, in between a rock and a hard place really because we have the eight of pentacles three of swords and the hanged man for some of you there is a necessary sacrifice that needs to be made in order for you to move forward progress and continue to thrive in life but then it feels like there's an emotional connection that is keeping you stuck or um, maybe even grounded in a place that you know you could probably be okay in but it doesn't feel right to you so you're just trying to figure out how do i get to this um, new offer a new opportunity without you know finding myself in a painful situation so definitely a tricky spot to be in scorpio but i do see that your focus is your success you are thinking about you know your abundance your 
livelihood, your legacy, right? You want to work on things that are important to you. You want to be um, constantly adding to your um, life experience. And maybe you're in a situation where it just seems like things are not changing. Things are very stagnant and that's just not working for you. So, um, you know, we definitely have to, I feel like a, a pros and cons list as silly as that might sound could be very very impactful or helpful at this time because it feels like there's something very specific when you look at those two columns right that it stands out and it'll be exactly what you need in order to figure out the answer for some reason it feels like it, it'll come down to a very small detail um, that actually makes things very clear for you so definitely i would consider making a pros and cons list for um, each scenario if you will right all right, let's clarify the Page of Cups. And we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like somebody is closed off or making themselves seem like they're closed off from love when really they want to dive deep into it. So there could be a fear of vulnerability um, either with you or somebody that you're getting close to, right? It's almost like a... Um, a unnecessary hurdle because it feels like things are moving very like good right they're they're moving um quickly in a in a positive direction i mean it's kind of uncanny we have the ten of cups right behind that hermit and then right behind the ten of cups was the death card so it's like things are going very well here and yet there's this energy of like ah oh, maybe maybe i should walk away from it why do we do that scorpio i feel like that's a scorpio thing for sure we constantly are um finding ourselves in this um space where we get what we want and sometimes the fear of losing it or the fear of diving deep into it and becoming consumed by it can be a very scary thing and we pull back um and that's because scorpios love very deeply we love profoundly everything that we do we put ourselves 100 percent into it so maybe you are finding yourself in a situation where love is presenting itself you're like no no i can't do it because then i'm gonna fall into it too hard i don't know it looks good though we have the lovers ace of cups and the chariot so a lot of water here so far um, we have a cancer ace of cups which is just all the water and gemini i feel like you could be connecting to a gemini but really the lover speaks to me as simply that it's a strong partnership that has the potential to be everything that it wants to be however i do feel though that the um, chariot and the ace of cups could mean that this maybe started out very quickly and, and so maybe you're thinking oh it started out too fast I need to slow it down in order for me to know that it's real right you're kind of contemplating how you want the speed of this connection to go but it feels like it's already there it's already um, developed the, the the love has been you know um, established or made known right you don't have to wonder how this person feels it feels like they're kind of pouring their heart out to you uh, but i feel like the the rate at which this is going maybe is what's making you think mm, maybe i should pull back kind of lean into myself for a little bit figure out if this is what i really want but i feel like you know that this is what you want but there's some element of um you know maybe it's um it's too good to be true type of feeling but honestly scorpio i feel like this person really really does care for you they really do love you they just need you to let them in so um interesting i feel like there's multiple messages in this reading so i mean naturally that would make sense right there's a lot of you out there and only one message so far or you know one person here to give the message so naturally there should be multiple but anyway losing myself in the train of thought so let's go ahead and clarify the eight of pentacles And we have the Ace of Swords. So definitely could be a, a moment of clarity here where you realize that that pros and cons list is going to come in handy. Um, I feel like there's something that needs to be clear. And then that is really what takes you to being able to focus on how to make this work or how to make this happen. Um, we do have the Magician, Five of Pentacles, and Ten of Wands. So I feel like you are going to be leaning into that necessary sacrifice because a lot of you are aware that this is how you will really take your manifestations to that reality. Um, I really feel like you've been working so hard for this that it would be 
um, you know, ashamed to not go through with it, right? You've been putting your heart and soul into something, really working day and night, very long hours, blood, sweat, and tears, you know, the whole nine to make this happen. And the universe is like, you know, don't give up on your manifestation just because it requires a sacrifice. I do feel like it is a necessary one. And it, even though it is going to be difficult at first, and you may have to walk away from some people or create some specific boundaries in order to make this happen, it is your manifestation, right? It is your dream or it's your passion it's your you know it's your thing um you deserve to fight for it and protect it and um you know i feel like this is going to be a very good time for you to get that clarity something tells me you're going to be figuring that out very soon whether it's because of a pros and cons list or you just simply really thinking through this and we also have a lot of love here for you so um i feel like you should, you just really need to think about what you want you know are you okay going into this and um, you know, opening up yourself to somebody who wants to give love to you? Are you okay with going towards your dreams and not, you know, having that moment of what if? You know, or is there a connection here that really is kind of keeping you, um, you know, from achieving your full potential? And how do we go about that? A lot of things to consider, but overall, I feel like you are on the right path and you're simply going towards progress. And it's truly um, speaking for itself here with your movement. So really good stuff, Scorpio. Definitely love um, the momentum that you have going on. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.